Hello, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Rabbana Samir Mood and I am from South Asia, Pakistan. Today, as a, in the leading woman, we do live videos through stream, but after one hour struggle, we are going to record it on Zoom. And I, I am so happy that um, uh, my guest didn't give up. She's, she remained persistent and calm and kind to me and watching me like I'm also struggling, you know. So because we both don't give up and so we are here. So let me introduce my guest. She's from originally from Philippines, living in Canada. And I'm so happy and privileged that I met uh, this beautiful soul uh, who want to change the world with her advocacy of seeds. She is the founder director of Seeds of Hope. And yes, she is here. So hello. <laughs> Hi, Rabia. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm excited to share, to be part of this uh, project you have and this platform where women, a leader can share our journey and inspire others. So I'll start with my... I'll start with my life. Um, I came to Canada in 1991 uh, due to I'm a single parent. That time I was only uh, 30 years old, but I have already three children. And um, as a single mom in the Philippines, there is discrimination against a single mother because, uh, because uh, the company usually hire single so they don't have other a responsibility like benefits for the children, for the uh, mothers. So um, I was deprived of uh, a job after graduation from university. And my, uh, my three children are growing up and thinking about their future. I won't be able to support them because I'm the eldest daughter. So everybody is on my shoulder. And I have to be strong. So at 30, I, I was blessed that I have a friend who wants to sponsor me because it's not easy to come to Canada. So again, as a single mother, I, was, I, I applied in Canada as single, which is not allowed because it's a misrepresentation. But I take risk because I really want to uh, go and provide for my children's future. So, but God is with me. Even though I lied as a single, uh, single, I I passed through the 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 uh, medical examination. And and I work uh, when I arrived in Canada. Uh, I work under the live-in caregiver program. So I. I work as a caregiver. In the Philippines, I have nanny to look after my children, but I have to come to Canada and work as a nanny. You know, how, how, how hard is that for a mother to look after strangers' children and leave your children? It's very painful, but I have to be strong because not only my children's future, I'm thinking as an eldest daughter, I have to help my mom because after I arrived in Canada, three months after my father died at the age of 50. So I became the mom's uh, support and my two, with my two brothers. And yeah, um, life in Canada is very challenging. I have to be strong. I, I have to work from one employer to another. Uh, I become a, a community leader because there's a lot of, of uh, Mm. abuse as a caregiver wherein you work inside the home of a family and your um, permanent residence is tied to your employer that you have to work for 24 months in order for you to apply for permanent residency. So some, some caregivers like me have to endure a lot of abuse and, and so that they can complete their 24 months uh, contract. I was not lucky to stay in one employer because I don't like to be abused. 
and I know my right. So I speak up when I know I am, I have my right. So I move from one employer to another. The three years, the, the 24 months uh, contract that would allow me to apply for permanent residency, it went to, to three years to complete. Plus sponsoring my children, it took me four years because I have to save money. I have to pay for their fare. I have to pay for their uh, processing fee. Each person I have to pay. And again, you know, family reno reunification, the program of Canada Canadian immigration is to re reunite the family of a caregiver. To me, it didn't happen because I was not lucky to save a lot of money because I have to go back to the Philippines and visit my children because I'm very lonely. I don't have family in Canada. So I have to save money so I can go home and, and come back again. I'd, some some, peop, some uh, uh, immigrant workers, they stay in one job. They wait for their family. They're OK. For me, no, I have to go back and forth and change jobs, change homes. So it's it's very un unstable kind of um, environment I have. And if I'm not strong, then I'm not here right now. But I, I, I'm a fighter. And I work different kinds of job. I, I haven't experienced when I was in the Philippines. Um, here I have to do caregiver. I have to do uh, elderly caregiver looking after old people. I have to work as a security guard. I work in the insurance company. And until I, I was able to work in the bank for 12 years. And, and at 10 years, I bought a house by myself. I worked three jobs, two, three jobs. I worked seven days. So that time, you know, when you're young, you're very strong. You have a lot of energy. And my focus is my children and helping my family. So in 10 years, I was able to bring my children and, but they're already adult. They're already a teenager. And to come to Canada, if you uproot them from Philippines to Canada, it, they have a culture shock. It's very shocking to them, no friends. They're away, they cannot, they're not as strong as me to take that kind of um, um, life. You know, no friends, new country, mom always work. There's no family there when, at home to guide them. It was difficult because they're already in a very uh, difficult stage, adolescent stage. But I can't do anything. I have to accept about my life. I have to face it. And I'm, I'm still happy and blessed that my kids are hardworking. Although they resent me from bringing them to Canada and create, a, a, what do you call this? A, a, a separation, the, the relationship was um, affected because of a long distance it took them a while to come here and they're grown up already. And I cannot provide them my time because I have to work to support, uh, you know, uh, the most expensive expenses in Canada is your home. It almost like 70 to 80% of your income goes to living. So people in the Philippines doesn't understand that. You have to survive here on your own. And being a single mother is also hard. And, but you know, life goes on. Uh, I work in the bank for 12 years. I also encountered bullying and harassment and uh, um, corporate politics. I, I've, I'm, I've reached my superior uh, performance rating and always helping the community with my volunteer work. I love helping people. And 
I excel no matter how hard life is, I excel. So when I left the bank, I, I studied personal support worker because I cannot work taking care of an elderly if you don't have a certificate. And my family doesn't like me to do that, but I'm happy looking after old people because I feel like they need a family and I need a family too. So I like that kind of bond with them, with my employer. And I'm happy working uh, as one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not working in the hospitals or long-term care now because of COVID, but I still volunteer in the long-term care because I love, I love doing that and I need that for my resume. You know, you know, you know, you have, you need that long-term care um, in your resume. And I got sick uh, with so many challenges in my life. Being the the breadwinner, I'm scared to get sick. But you know, as you grow older, your health deteriorates. The stress it's up to you, and it happens in my life that. I lost my job, I lost my house, my children move on, my husband doesn't want me anymore, but you know, it's okay, <laughs> life goes on. And Seeds of Hope came to my life. It's a life sa saver because it distract me from feeling uh, lonely and sad and sorry about myself and i after four years here i am um i'm touching lives because of seeds of hope two programs the uh adapt a school pro uh, program and adapt a community program in the adapt a school program uh, my beneficiary our school to initiate a school vegetable garden and my ambassadors are youth and child ambassador in my community adapt uh, garden my ambassadors are seniors and adults and also teachers so i started in the philippines because i was inspired by an orphanage that i came to visit looking at the children and, and seeing their face happy because they see me, I wanted to do more. So uh, going back to Canada, I brought the package of Seeds of Hope and I sell them and raise funds so I can give the money to Home of Hope so they can make a vegetable garden. So now they have their empty space that were not used before, it's now they're now growing vegetable garden that they make for food for themselves. And also they present those vegetables in their nutrition month program, which I want to bring that also to every schools. Every schools will have a vegetable garden and they can present the six different kinds of vegetables, which are okra, tomato, uh, squash, long beans, uh, bitter gourd, and um, uh, what do you call this? Uh, uh, six of them. So they will tell the health benefits of each vegetable and all the school if they have kitchen or home economics uh, uh, subjects for to teach children how to cook so the, the children know how to grow they grow their own food and they know how to cook their food because it is sustainability and it will address hunger and malnutrition and there's so many projects i have and i also reach globally um i ha I'm, have ambassadors in in pakistan in philippines in australia in qatar in in um, across Canada, US, Australia. That's all my ambassadors. I'm here in Canada. 
I can't go to the Philippines. My ambassadors in the Philippines are spreading my advocacy. The one in Australia are spreading my advocacy. The one here in Canada is spreading my advocacy. I'm their example. They follow what I do. And people can understand why I'm doing this. First, it's healing for me and I'm making a difference. And this is what I want to leave my grandchildren so they can continue my community advocacy. That's all. <laughs> so you have, you have uh, seen a lot of differences and a lot of difficulties and you, you come here to, um, you know, it's a marvelous journey. I think you are so strong. I, um, you are very strong that you have faced it alone, alone parent, and then alone uh, working <clears throat> person there in Canada. And you came here, and I, I, and I, and I truly believe that it is because of your love, your own kindness, your compassion, and your trust on Allah, your trust on God, and this can happen. You know, otherwise it will not happen. Yeah, you see, I don't know how to start a business in Canada mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I was busy working and looking after my family. Mm -hmm. But I registered Seed of Hope Pinakbet International as a small business mm -hmm. that distributes seeds, mm -hmm. the Pinakbet seeds. Mm -hmm. And I registered last year uh, um, Harvest uh, Seeds of Hope Pinakbet International Inc. It's a nonprofit. So I'm still studying how to run the nonprofit organization. I'm studying how to run the small business. So I'm just a baby. I'm just a baby trying to walk step by step. Yes. But I'm blessed to connect with you, Rabia, and to have your support. And I'm blessed to join the International Women's Day. This that day is very memorable to me because that's the day I started to become Seed of Hope Ambassador of Goodwill during the International Women's Day. Ooh. So this is my fourth year mm -hmm. and it's very memorable. And you know, Pinakbit is a symbol of traits and, and values of Filipinos. So I want to keep that Filipino heritage and, and that Pinakbit vegetables is very popular popular in our Southeast Asian communities. So you, you, you know that kind of vegetables, you use that in your dish. And I have also a cooking show. It's called Phil Pak. It's Philippine Pakistan multicultural cooking show that I started. So mm -hmm. I have two shows, uh, Filipino cooking, no, uh, three, Pakistan cooking and Spanish cooking. So it's a series. I shoot that uh, before winter last year. So I will compile that videos of our cooking. And then later on, we can have a program if I have a, a funding, you know, like a TV pro show when I have a funding. But for now, I have projects in making children's book. Right now, I have a contest for my for children to create a comic book about Pinakbit vegetables and, you know, Pinakbit heroes, like families, how they save the community from getting sick. So that is the story of my comic book. I'm, I'm also working on my cookbook, the different kinds of food, uh, food you can make from the vegetables. I'm also um, going to have my first event, which is called Pinakbit, uh, Pinakbit, and kitchen festival where people gather to to show their vegetables their produce and and all the chefs to to show their their you know the their um, cooking uh, recipes and that i think yeah and the filipino heritage month coming in june so i will uh, open or or Open the new uh, Seed of Hope Pinakbit Garden Community Garden for seniors and children in in Coburg, Ontario. One of my Seed of Hope uh, ambassador, she uh, 
initiated that in her community. I have one in Toronto, which has 13 plots. And I call it a learning garden because I want the children to know that there are different types of tomatoes, different types of okra, different types of long beans, different types of squash, different types of tomatoes, and different types of eggplant. So, so that's what I did in four years in my advocacy. And I you have, received. So you have a very long journey and <laughs> uh, a self self realizing journey, you know? I think that <clears throat> if we are not a good person inside, you know, because a good person will uh, turn everything in a good way, you know? So uh, <clears throat> I am also a little bit emotional, but uh, what I feel is that strong people make decisions, then stand for it, work for it, you know, but the good people all, all, all the time, you know, they also take other people with, with their selves as well, you know. So because you are a good person innerly, and that's why the things happen to you. So I'm so happy Thanks. that <laughs> you come here and you, you know, now you connected to a lot of women around the world. They are also doing their work, trying to excel themselves and they understand the difficulties every woman has and they can support you in a more better way because they also face hardships and everybody because of some good things in their selves, you know, then they can turn it into a more good way. So we can learn from everybody. I can I learn from you. Yes, you want to say something. This is my second speech uh, online. The first one, I was so tense. I was so I don't know. I you know now I'm more calmer. I, I like the way you you do it because you're also very patient and calm and and you know very encouraging. But I'm in. I was scared to get out there and know people. Mm. I feel like I, I want to stay where I am and just enjoy my gardening. Mm. But, you know, I, I also force myself when there's an opportunity that come in my life that would teach me, you know, get out of your comfort zone. So I'm, I'm fighting that. And also because I've been away from work for five years, my my uh, computer skills has you know is behind and i'm slow and and there's so many things i have to learn but i'm happy now that i joined you and other group and forcing me to learn this uh, zoom online thing so i'm learning mm -hmm. and i'm happy thank you very much oh you are so good person <laughs> and that's why and you believe on god that's why good things is happening on you so I just want to uh, know about like uh, how you want to expand your seeds of hope. If you um, tell here, I think you will find more people when they, they know that there's an opportunity to work with you. I think you, you tell them more like how this is your advocacy, how people, if they follow it, how they can have a healthy life, a healthy food and a healthy relationships because you know, Gardening is not uh, a simple one person is doing. When one person is doing, the other person, or mom, grandmother, or uh, you know, come and tell, do do this and do this. You know, so it means that not only not only it is a, it connects the family, it it makes you healthy, it provides you healthy food as well. So tell me yeah. about this. So right now I'm in. I'm still. Uh, establishing that because financially I don't have funding yet. Although my my nonprofit organization is registered and ready for re ready for me to apply for funding, but I'm I'm I, I want to make sure when I have the money, I'm more I can use it uh, in a good way. For now I'm still doing other stuff to build seed of hope uh, so, solid first before I expand. So I have future projects like the Pinak Nutrimil, which can be used with, with 
to address malnutrition and hunger in times of crisis, like there's flood, you know, Red Cross can bring that, donate to the children or the family who lost home and everything. So the Pinakbit Nutri meal is my dream to, you know, it's my goal to happen. Um, uh, funding to buy seeds. So, so now I only self-fund myself by selling t-shirts, calendars in Christmas time, um, seeds. So that's where I get and memberships, which I started this year. So I'm also happy that from 30, I, I double to 60 now, my, my, my uh, members and ambassadors together. And I'm happy that I learned this Zoom meeting. So my first Zoom meeting with my ambassadors and members are scheduled now for April 14. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Very slowly. Happen. I'm learning. Uh, mm -hmm. there, you know, there's nobody. But God sent me, you and Mariam Khan, to, to, to support me, you know. And now doing my first meeting with the International Women's uh, development uh, conference. I'm gonna know strong women also who will support me and teach me how to make Seed of Hope, my small business and my nonprofit uh, become successful. Mm. So, and also finding my, my supplier locally because after COVID, my shipment from the Philippines uh, stopped. Uh, because the uh, courier won't accept any more uh, seeds to go to C Canada. At least the one I sent to Pakistan, it went through. But in, in Canada, I have a hard time. So I'm running out of my seed supply, but I was able, only this week, I was able to connect with the, the, a friend, the grower. They grow vegetables too, and they'll make seeds for me. So that, that is uh, 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 God's blessing to me. But I want to reach out to more people who have the seeds that I needed because then I can continue my community advocacy. And in, in June, we have an event. So if I have the seeds, then I can get more membership, you know? So... It's okay. God will make a way. <laughs> okay, that's great. At the end, I just want to have another conversation with you, but there is some guest uh, will arrive here. So we have to conclude this conversation, you know. So I just want to yeah. uh, ask your last message that you want to give to you, uh, uh, to the people who are struggling with their lives and who want to, you know, um, who want to just finding a way. So what, what is your message for them? No matter what, always ask for guidance up there because that's the only strength and guide you can have in life. You cannot trust yourself. You cannot trust anybody except the one up there. And he's the one who provided everything for me. The, 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 this set of hope was given to me. I don't know. Um, people who will work with me who just come and volunteer and, and become ambassador. I don't know them. They just come and, and, and join me. So that's all I can say. Uh, always hold on to your faith because no matter how hard life is, he's there to be with you. And also when you don't feel like getting up, just get up, dress up and mm -hmm. enjoy every day. Yes. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I want to say to everyone that uh, um, that uh, Maria is my precious guest that I have in my life. That is really uh, an inspiration for me and uh, a lot of other people. This is the part first of our conversation. I want to have more conversation with her so to know more about, uh, you know, more about the work. And I, I wish her all the best of luck for her uh, new expandings and um, and hope we will talk again uh, yes. on live and and 
on recording as well. Okay. Thank so you, Rabia. Bye, Maria. I'm so happy. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.